Yeah. yeah. Oh so the right mark out is to start. There's the hole in the trench. There's the wall. This is where you know an extra would push by to stop us and change the dynamic. So it evolved like that, really, from exactly. those very early step stages. Step by step, very gradually. Which yeah. must have really helped with the ownership of where you were going, because that was kind of ingrained in you anyway from the very start. Then. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So Sam was saying that, like, you know, we sort of came toward, like, towards the characters throughout that rehearsal period, and similarly, he would sort of bring them towards us as he got to know us and what were kind of, I guess, our strengths or just, you know, how we are as people. Yeah. And, and it, so it was a kind of the whole thing was a sort of meeting in the middle up to a day one of shooting and then it, and then we had to you know then we had to do it yeah and people will be desperate to see the film and, and some people might not know really what what the story is so just kind of tell us you know what the mission is then that your characters are set on at the beginning set, set the scene for us a bit well um well, so, so yeah so Dean and I played two soldiers in the first world war I'm Lance Corporal Schofield and Dean's Lance Corporal Blake and felt so connected to generations of your family mm. Mm. beforehand I mean when you were doing this and you were in that environment and you were doing such long takes so it didn't feel like you were almost out of character I guess at all at, at certain points how how real and how connected did you feel to those members of your family that fought in in situations like that very connected and and, the, and you've just hit it straight on the head this being a part of this was so immersive the longest scene we did was nearly nine minutes long. Yeah. And as an actor, you just get completely lost in what you're doing and you believe every minute of it. It's, it's mm. not pretend, you're not, you're not acting, you're just being and living. Um, but in the, research, um, in the research period, I found out that I had a great-great-grandfather who fought in the war. And uh, I found it out by reading a book called The Western Front Diaries, okay. which is snippets of diary entries. And uh, he had a diary entry in that book. And uh, he talks about how he fought in the cavalry and how he was shot and paralysed while he was out in no man's land. And uh, he was basically bleeding out for four days trying to survive. And uh, he ended up surviving the war, and he worked mm. in the first poppy factory that opened in Richmond. Really? In yeah. So it was yeah. amazing to find out. Yeah. What did you feel like when you saw it all together? Because obviously you've done these mammoth sequences, and then to actually see it as one long journey, yeah. what, what, was, what was it like? It, it was really emotional, actually. Was it? It was yeah. really emotional, because often, you know, you, you do a job and, and so you're kind of, like, you're a little bit outside of it because the film is also, like, a kind of a photo album of, like, I remember what that happened that day and, you know, that's when, yeah. We had, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, this happened, you know, behind the camera that day. And, and obviously, like, we know the journey of this film inside and out because we've rehearsed it so Yeah. Long. But seeing it, I was really, really emotional. And it, and it kind of... I think what the film's, the film's about is, you know, when, when people get stretched, sort of what you then come back to, in a sense. And, and it made me really clear on sort of who I love most in my life, really. I remember mm. that's kind of who I thought of and I had to kind of have a couple of phone calls as soon as I watched the film. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was quite an emotional response. Yeah, and, you know, the film, as we've said, hinges on, on your ability, really, to bring it to life, just you two. And, you know, it's quite annoying because people think these two unknown actors, but you've been in lots of stuff, Dean, you in Game of Thrones and you, we enjoyed you in Sunshine on Leith. <laughs> um, but, but this is, it feels like a, a game-changer now for you both this film I mean all the nominations all the hype around it which is quite a lot of pressure but this could be the one that really changes things you're gonna I mean they won't yeah. be on the one I show after this will they? this is it I'm gonna wave you goodbye I mean so. enjoy it now <laughs> <laughs> we'll put a picture of you up now with it because <laughs> that'll be it yeah but um, does it does it feel like a real pivotal moment for you both I, I don't know it's it, it's kind of not for us to say I don't I, I don't think like you know we were lucky enough to do this job without this sort of mm. kind of moment, uh, so yeah. you just sort of, and, and so all that for us, it just comes in, in the doing of it, mm. and, and it's really special that you know more. Uh, it's lovely that more people get to see your work, but yeah. for us, it's the doing of the work. So if this can help, get yeah. get more jobs, and that's well, yeah. it's a fantastic yeah. achievement, and to be, just see it as a viewer and the way that you kind of take us through history in the way that you have done. I mean, everybody who can and is old enough, it is a 15, should go and see it, because um, it's, it's yeah. magic, it really is, lads. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.